headed to Texas. I got Hunter McCool and Jody Davis with me, and we're gonna meet Neil Hayes out there. Pretty special on the front end of this hunt. We're going to two spots. First spot, we're gonna take uh, Ryan Welch, a second catch a dream kid we ever took. He was just coming out of a surgery for a cancerous brain tumor. Good Remember, you gotta take your time. Put that green bee right at the bottom of his neck. Let him come on, don't worry. Can you see the side, okay? Alright, shoot the one on the left. Yes! Yeah. Oh my god! Come on, come on! Can you believe it? No. <laughs> Check it out. Look at that. Yes, yes. How about it, Buzz? Good job. How about it, buddy? Huh? How about it? Good job, man. Good job. Look at that, huh? Good job, buddy. We're going back to the exact same spot. It's 18 years later. I think that's pretty cool. Well, we left at 8 o'clock from Houston, Mississippi, and it's 8 o'clock now in Texas, but we're about to turn in the road up here for the Richards Ranch. And as much as I love Texas, and these guys love coming out here, that's the worst drive I've ever had. I don't. I picked a new route, and I don't know what happened. How many red lights did we go through in one hour back there by Denton? Yeah. Too many. <laughs> At least 50, I would say. Well, it's the first morning in Texas and we're at the Richard Ranch. I think it was 17 or 18 years ago. Like I said, this is where we hunted Ryan Welch, the rock, going to pick him up here in about three or four hours. But first things first, we're going to uh, listen for turkeys. All right, we're on our way to listen for turkeys with Shannon and his ram. And every time I see something good about Texas, I'm gonna show you. That's deer corn stacked up at the shell station. Another good reason to come to Texas. Everybody loves hunting. Everybody's good about hunting out here. It's just, uh, it's a hunter friendly environment, if you know what I mean. Well, Shannon and I heard one to the Northwest and uh, of course we put we jumped Jody and Hunter off in the two best spots and I just got a text from Jody saying there's three hammering over here so we're gonna go try another spot but I did hear that one way off but I didn't hear it good I'm still waiting to hear my first Rio up closer close enough to where I can tell what it is so morning's progressing Oh, this weather's beautiful. This traffic. You remember how bad it was last time? It rained and we were, it was just dreary. Yep. Yeah. The whole yeah. time. Yeah, the whole yep. time. It was just so, and it's supposed to be like this for, and I don't even want to say it out loud. But it's supposed <laughs> to be like this. Even the, for, even the air's hot. That, my friends, is Ryan the Rock Welch. 15 years ago, we killed a turkey right down the road in the rain, and it was a Jake. Now, 15 years later, we're going to kill the king and his sonny outside. <laughs> Are you in? Yeah, I'm in. All right. I'm we, always in for that. Good deal. More on Ryan the Rock Welch later. I'm fixing to go check the weather. I feel in my heart it's pretty good, but I want to look at it anyhow. Yeah, quick story on Ryan. The last time we were here, Ryan was the second kid we ever hunted for the Catch a Dream Foundation, which takes seriously ill kids on uh, outdoor adventures. You know, 15 years later, he's cancer free and loves and still loves to hunt. So does his little brother, Riley. This is little Riley, who last time he was here, he was about as big as a gnome, maybe two feet tall, never shut up. Now he's like 6'5 or something like that. So 
Uh, I assume you're fired up. Oh, I'm real fired up. I couldn't sleep last night. There's our married crowd. It's four. Four all together. My record killing a turkey with a crowd is five. Toxies is six. But we got a good spot to hide, and we're all wearing our moss silk, so it's all good. <laughs> a big fat bust, a big zero. We heard probably two. One gobbled eight or nine times. He went straight to the west, never paid us any attention. Hadn't heard him since. We called up one hen. We fixing to go on the move. We looking for the king. We at least want some action though. Gotta go find it. walking. All right, we're headed back to the same exact spot we hunted this morning with Ryan. Hunter, Hunter says that's where we need to go. I didn't hear but one turkey, so I don't know what his thoughts are, but anyway, that's where we're going. We sat here for two and a half hours and saw three more hens. Didn't hear a gobble, didn't see a gobble. But tomorrow's another day. How about it? <laughs> we found the ranch, got good directions, and we got the combo to the lock. What lock? <laughs> That's when you know you're in Texas there. Oh, and one goblin Jake. Ain't happening here. We didn't hear any other turkeys. It's a little windy, but couldn't hear him that far, so we decided to move. Well, 15 years ago when I had Ryan Welch out here on his catch a dream hunt, it rained the whole time and it made it real hard. And uh, this is the uh, second day as his hunt back at the same place, the Richards Ranch, and guess what? It's raining. What happened this morning? Uh, it was pretty textbook. We called him, he came down off his roost. There's a fence between us, and uh, he hopped the fence and he came right to us. And he got up there and he got over the hill, and he saw the the tom decoy and strut with the hen, and that kind of spooked him. What do you think? I think we just shot that one. I shot it for sure. Hunter <laughs> had a Hunter would have had a hard time holding me back off of that one. Well, we're going back. Last afternoon, we're gonna go back to work. We just had the big encounter. Had two jakes in front of Ryan at 15 steps, but the big turkey was coming up from the rear. He saw the jakes, he didn't like it. So the issue now is the wind. What about it? <laughs> well. Ryan's losing faith. We're gonna make a believer out of him here shortly. Had some jigs come in this morning. They got a long beard. has got to show up eventually. Yeah. Well, let's go check them out. Well, we've been in the woods for about three and a half hours, maybe three hours and 45 minutes. We found a real good creek bottom and got out of the wind and we ain't heard or seen a peep nothing so basically ryan's got one more morning and uh 
kind of been covered up in Jake's. I may let him drop the hammer on one in the morning. But uh, anyway, it's been kind of slow. All the reports out here in Texas are there's Jake's everywhere. And that's true where we're at, so we'll see what happens in the morning. Well, that's the, sadly, that's the fastest we've seen the windmills going, but that's the way it is. What about it, honey? Things are creepy. <laughs> we ain't gonna be able to hear one this morning for sure. Well, we're done with Ryan Welch and he didn't get a turkey. Doggone it. Anyway, they're on their way back to Illinois and we have made it to Santa Ana, Texas for the second leg of our little Texas road trip. And we'll go down here and see if this little grocery store is still open. And just kind of get some cereal and bananas and stuff for them young guns who slept all the way over here. Kind of keep them fueled up. They're carrying all the heavy gear. So. Phase two underway.